Let me tell you a real story. A story that has changed my life. One of the reasons I wake up every morning is because I'm developing a project that I love. And this is thanks to my software work fellowship. Every morning, I have my breakfast. Boot my laptop and start working on crowd crafting and Bibles. I'm Daniel Lombraña Gonzalez, a software fellow and the project leader of crowd crafting and Bibles. Crowdcrafting is a crowdsourcing platform powered by Pivosa that allows citizens and scientists to create their own citizen science projects. Pivosa is 100% open source. I have designed it in a way that it breathes and exhales open science. Pivosa helps people to share knowledge. How? By contributing their time and effort, but more importantly, their wisdom. Citizens contribute collecting data, analyzing it, and sharing the outcomes on the web. On the other hand, we have scientists that publish most of their findings in closed journals, where citizens have to even pay a fee for accessing that knowledge. For these reasons, that's why sharing knowledge openly is in the core values of my citizen science vision, because I want to make knowledge available to anyone. With a small team supported by Software World Foundation, I'm pushing my vision of citizen science built through Pivosa and Crowdcrafting. Today's citizen science projects are designed in a top-down fashion way, where citizens play a role of workers. However, I see them as the spark that will boost this field. In Latin, science means knowledge, and the search for knowledge is in our genes. For this reason, I love to transform the current citizen science movement into something bigger. I want to make it the vehicle that enables people to converse about the real world using critical thinking. That's why I'm reapplying to the Subtle World Fellowship, because with your help, I will be able to achieve it. Science has moved forward when there are contradictions around hypotheses and observations. This situation leaves scientists with only two options changing the way they observe the world or changing their beliefs. It's not possible to live with the incoherence of them. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're reading a newspaper and there is an article about the conviction rates in your country. The article only analyzes one judge, the terrible judge, as labeled by the journalist, because he has a conviction rate of 95%. However, you see here a contradiction. Is this normal? Why is not comparing it with other judges in the same jurisdiction? Or moreover, why is not even comparing it with the rest of the judges of the country? This actually happened in crowdcrafting. It has been one of the most successful projects so far. The citizen, in less than a week, uploaded all the trials to crowdcrafting, analyzed it with the crowd, and published everything on the web, the data, source code, and analysis. The results, the terrible judge was not so terrible. His colleagues had a similar conviction rate, so it was normal in that area. Moreover, thanks to the full analysis of the country, this study shows different rates for different jurisdictions in the same country, opening the door to many more questions and therefore enabling a very interesting discussion. In this example, crowdcrafting was the tool and the methodology that helped the citizen to discuss and support his point of view, adding more value and knowledge to the topic. Therefore, in order to help more citizens, I need to make as simple as possible the creation of PyVosa projects, growing a community of volunteers and developers that will support each other, and also exploring the sustainability of PyVosa and crowdcrafting in the longer term. In other words, I believe that by improving crowdcrafting and PyVosa, I will help citizens to make an impact in our society by sharing their knowledge openly teaching to our future generations that sharing knowledge is the key for an advanced society.